Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to get big soft curls with the InStyler, except it's not the InStyler, it's the fake version, it's the Models Prefer InStyler. I got that from Priceline, it looks like this. Stay tuned, I will show you how to do the big soft curls, which I'm currently sporting in my hair. Just a hair update, I got blonde in my hair today. Just thought I'd freshen up the colour a little bit when it's coming into spring. So yeah, just stay tuned and I'll jump right into it. So what we're doing today is we are going to be curling our hair. So what you're going to do is you're just going to part your hair down the back. This one we're just going to leave for a little while. And you're just going to section off. Kind of like when you're straightening your hair, except it takes less time. And then I'm just going to use this massive hair clip here to just get that out of the way. Now you're not just going to do this in one big go, you're going to sort of do it in little broken up parts. So I like to do just under this section first of all. So with your InStyler, you want to put the barrel towards the back. It takes some getting used to, I'm still getting used to holding this. So you just hold it like that. Oh, my hair looks like a top deck chocolate right now. And then you just slowly drag it down until you get to the bottom. And you've got your little loose curl there. It does make a lot of noise, but you just keep going. I like to hold it on the ends a little bit more just to seal in that heat. So that's our first little curl at the bottom. I will go over it with a hairspray. So the same thing. And just pull it through. Now my initial thoughts of this tool was, ah, uh, this is not going to work, but I was just really interested in doing it and found that, uh, yeah, it actually does work. And the curls that I get out of these ones I prefer to any other curl that I've had with my hair straightener or with a, you know, the curling wand thing. I just prefer soft curls and it doesn't feel like it's damaging my hair, which is a plus, especially since I just put all this bleach in it at the hairdressers. So we've done that little section. Now you just want to get your hairspray. I just use really cheap stuff from Coles. Just going to make it last a little bit longer. But next you want to section off another piece of your hair, much like you did before. I'm just going to let it sit on top. It's quite clear where your hair is uncurled compared to the curled part. Okay. So I'll show you a few more times and then I'll use my magic and rush through it all. It's not really the best lighting today. There's a big ugly storm cloud over there. I'll be back in just a minute. There we go. I have a little bit more light on me now and I have to move my curtain out of the way forever moving my curtain. Grab that section again that you just dropped to adjust your camera. It's all a part of the tutorial. There we go. Another nice little curl. It is much easier to use this, I think, when your hair is blow dry. Stay on there. Alright, so I guess the key to this is barrel at the back. And if you don't know how to hold this properly, it can be a little bit dangerous because you can burn yourself on the barrel. I have done it multiple times. If you feel like you need to just put a heat heat resisting glove, whatever they're called, I think you can just get them from like price sign or anywhere like that. Usually if you have a curler, they come with that. Whoops, breaking everything. Now, as you can see, it does make my hair length look a lot shorter, but after about a day, it does drop. So as long as it looks pretty. Now we need to drop off another section. So we'll do this front part. Oh, hello sunshine. Ah, oh, my eyeball. There we go. Damn you clouds. Actually, this nice area here. If you need more resistance, just hold the back of it a little bit more. Because sometimes the bristles, if your hair's just been washed and you've just put conditioner in it all, sometimes it can be too soft. All right, I'm just going to power through this now. I think you get the idea. And then we will catch up at the end when it is finished.
Okay, so that is the finished curled hair. That is how you do it with the InStyler Modest Prefer dupe. I'm just going to put a little bit of my Batiste dry shampoo. Big and bouncy XXL volume. Just section it over here. You are meant to tease it, I guess, but I don't want to because I don't think it's too good for your hair. So I just sort of ruffle it a little bit. Now if you want to give it like a little extra shine, I have been using Hydrating Macadamia Oil Dry Styling Oil by Organics. I haven't used it for that long so I can't really comment on the goodness of it. But you just put a little bit of that on your hands and then just roll it through your hair. And there you go. I love it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos in future. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and you can also follow me on Instagram. Bye.